Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Monday. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Now, I just want to give you guys a heads up that I am filming this on Monday morning where I normally film on Monday evening. So if I miss any other news topics later on today, we'll make sure to get it covered later on in the week. And that's just due to a, uh, a one day work uh, change, work schedule change. So um, one more quick announcement before we get into the main topic today, which is the flash. I do want to announce our first giveaway, which is going to be taking place throughout the week we have a few tickets to give away to some bay area followers so if you guys are from the bay area some of you guys already let me know but i want you guys to let us know this week in the comment sections powerhouse comic con happening in pleasanton california uh in the alameda county fairgrounds on july 21st 2019 so uh things to do at this comic con obviously uh buy sell trade with vendors uh, local vendors um and artists and there's going to be a classic film panel celebrity panels um costume contests um, so and, and the vibes at these things are just amazing. So it's going to be really cool. They have some other guests that are uh, that ha that have been uh, big players in the world of our pop culture. So the original Shazam is going to be there. Other people like Space Ghost, Ghost the Coast actor, people from Power Rangers is going to be there, and other comic book artists that you may be familiar with. So that is it right there. Our giveaway for uh, Powerhouse Comic Con. If you are from the Bay Area, let us know in the comment sections this week. Hashtag Powerhouse Comic Con in the comments. Let us know that you're from the Bay Area and we'll enter you into a raffle and we will uh, pull the raffle tickets later on in the videos this week, probably on Sunday in the reading the comments video. So stay tuned for that. If you are from the Bay Area, once again, let us know in the comments below. We'll enter you into the raffle. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the topic for today. It has to do with Ezra Miller as The Flash. Now, we reported in previous videos that um, Ezra Miller was going to be uh, potentially, poten he was going to be making a script uh, for The Flash movie with uh, uh, famous writer Grant Morrison. And this is because he wasn't very pleased with the script that um, John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein uh, uh, created for this movie Flash. Now, Warner Brothers has been said to uh, favor John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein's script, um, but because Ezra Miller, I guess, has some pull with the studio, you know, he is involved in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, uh, they're allowing him to make his own pitch, and if that pitch doesn't satisfy Warner Brothers, uh, it was likely that Ezra Miller was going to leave the project, um, because his contract apparently has ended. Um, so. Now, so we haven't got any real solid news since then, but uh, a more notable trade in Variety just posted this. Now, it is Pride Month, um, a month celebrating uh, the contributions of the LGBTQ community to the world. Now, they did this uh, Power of Pride list 2019. Ezra Miller was on there, and as you can see, it says, uh, Ezra Miller, it says, moving fast. Miller, who plays the ultra-swift superhero The Flash, will get his DC Universe standalone film as soon as he wraps up his work on the Harry Potter spinoff series Fantastic Beasts. The queer and gender-fluid star is somehow even more in demand on the red carpet than in studio casting sessions with his avant-garde looks, earning praise and astonishment from fans. So, there you have it. This is Variety. Uh, a pretty reliable source when it comes to news. So um, now this got a lot of people excited. This news came out after my Friday video. I had already uh, filmed it and, and edited and posted it, um, but this came out on Friday. Now it's gotten a lot of people excited on the internet since then, but I do want to uh, give you my thoughts on this. While Variety is a very uh, um, reliable trade, and uh, they've, they've, bro they've broken a ton of uh, stories before. I'm not sure I fully believe this. And um, this is one, it would be really be exciting if it was true. But two, they have also um, uh, missed out on some details in the past because I'm not sure if the department or whatever that makes these articles are the same ones that do the, uh, that break movie news. So, um, for example, a few months ago, I remember, uh, you know, browsing the YouTube channels and a lot of people started reporting on a rumor um, or a potentially, uh, yeah, but potentially huge rumor that Ben Affleck would be back uh, for Justice League 2. And that is because Variety had an article out talking about Ben Affleck and saying that he was going to be starring in Justice League 2. And that confused a lot of people because... Justice League 2, as we know, has kind of been put on hold. And at the time, Ben Affleck was announced that uh, he was leaving the project. So for them to say that he was going to be in Justice League 2, 
could have been an uh, oversight on the editing team. So it's that. So the fact that Variety is a very credible source doesn't mean that they are they are perfect in, by any means. You know, so they're so things could be overlooked in that in that regard. Or this article could have been made a long time ago before all this recent news came about. So a lot of different reasons to still be skeptical about Ezra Miller returning as The Flash. Um, I do hope he does return to The Flash. Um, and I've, I've, done, I've done a top five video of recasts that I would do. I'll link it up here. So I, I did my own top five of people I'd like to see recasted as The Flash if Ezra Miller left the project. But I really sincerely do hope he stays on as The Flash. We didn't really get to see uh, Zack Snyder's full vision in play and what he had planned for the flash so i do hope he gets a chance uh, and a crack at it because this universe has gone through so much um turbulence so far that um it would be just a, that much more jarring to see one of the main stars of the justice league recasted ben affleck's being recasted um cyborg uh says he's not done but he may be done with the role um and um henry cavill you know henry cavill we don't know his future yet either he may get recasted because there's rumors that wb is moving forward with the project without him so they're all just rumors um but yeah it would be jarring to see another justice league member recast it again so i think this universe has been through enough i think uh, ezra miller has proven he, he's a he's a good actor now whether you think he's the barry allen from the comics or not he's the barry allen that we got on screen so i'm I, you know i'm able to separate that um and and just see where this this takes us and um now let's assume that this is true if this is true the question is is uh wb pleased with the script that he and grant morrison worked on or are they gonna or did he uh, concede and say okay i'll just work with uh john francis daly and jonathan goldstein's script instead so a lot of questions to be had here with this variety uh it's not news this variety article i just want to say that it is kind of hard to believe that something uh something as big as this news as big as this would be buried in a little tiny article in which you can click through really fast so you got to really take this with a grain of salt and not as fact at the moment Th that that uh, seeing this and uh, reporting this to you on Monday, I woke up and saw another trade. We got this covered, and again, I've, I just want to preface this with we've been a lot of people have been starting to reference this uh, this news outlet. We got this covered, and um, a, only time will tell if some of their rumors and some of their um, their uh, the leaks that they've gotten are true. So what they're saying here is that WB may replace Ezra Miller's Flash with Wally West. So um, let me just go ahead and read part of the article here for you. So it says, this apparently is something that Warner Brothers are considering. We got this covered. It's been informed by our source that the studio is entertaining the idea of introducing Wally West into the DCEU to replace Miller's Barry Allen. We have to stress that this is just an idea right now. And while there's a chance it could happen, it's too early to say for sure. For sure. So again, this is this is this is kind of an up and down roller coaster that we are being t taken on right now. I wish WB would just let us know what their um, ultimate goal is. But hey, um, you know, a lot of news is going to be dropping soon with Comic Con, and I know while WB uh, doesn't. Uh, have a huge presence at Comic-Con, or DC doesn't have a huge presence, it will be merged into the WB presence. Um, you know, maybe some news will drop around that time, but I wish they would just let us know what's going on with this movie. We're taking, we're being taken on a ride right now. So if this part is true, you know, it's, oh, again, only time will tell. Uh, it would be even more jarring to just replace Fla uh, Barry Allen with Wally West. It just would, would not feel right. It, it sounds, it doesn't sound like something the studio would do for me. And I'm not sure who these the source is for we got this covered, but again, uh, some stuff has been right on their page and some stuff has has been wrong. So um, only time will tell if this is true. But I want I'm curious to know what you guys think about Wally West. Now I know Wally West is a very beloved uh, character in the Flash universe. I'm relatively new to reading Flash. I'm catching up with his classic stories and currently reading the Flash now. But Wally West. You know, if, you, if you've been reading the latest events in DC, Heroes in Crisis, a lot of people will say their beloved Wally West was done wrong in that, in that event. So um, this would, it would be cool for Wally West fans, but um, at the same time, 
it would be a huge jarring thing to do for the universe. Wally West, not only is he beloved in the comics, he's beloved on TV, the classic TV show. So I can see why they would want to uh, incorporate this character, um, as, given how popular he is. But it would just be so jarring for them to do it. And I can't even see a path for them to do it. So um, I hope this is not true. But I want to know what you guys think. Maybe some of you guys have... have um, have kind of rejected Ezra Miller as a Flash, and maybe you do want Wally West. Let me know in the comments down below. So that's it for the new stories today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about these two things we talked about today, so let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to be entered into the raffle for the Bay Area Powerhouse Comic Con giveaway, hashtag Powerhouse Comic Con down below. Let us know you're from the Bay Area, and uh, we will enter you into the raffle. So thanks again for watching. Please give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.